Hi there, this is Josh Me with Josh Me Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cool little illusion um, with uh, some cool lighting tricks. So, um, yeah, if you want to use this for your title like I did, uh, or just, you know, a box or a monkey or whatever, you know, any kind of your mesh, uh, it's kind of a cool thing. So, let's get started. Um, here I have uh, my title. Um, you can have whatever you want, but it, um, I'm just going to be showing you how to do this. So, um, what we're going to want to do, first thing, is to get rid of our lamp here. Um, the lamp will ruin the effect, so delete that by pushing X and delete. Um, with this, what we're, what we're going to be doing is just having this character um, being recognized and being lit. So, uh, we need this thing, we, we, we need this to be identified, so let's first let's go to our world and let's go to horizontal color and bring that all the way down to black. Um, it, black will make this uh, look a lot better, uh, so just, it has to be done in black, so use black. Um, second thing, to get this character recognized like I was talking about, uh, let's hit indirect lighting and we can hit approximate and passes. Let's take this to four. Um, four works good. No, let's bump up one. Five's good. Um, you can take it as high as you want or as low as you want. Um, I just kind of like that middle range. So standard error. What standard error does is it 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 represents the quality of the the light. So if we were to bring that up, um, then it would you know make it a little bit more choppier. Um, if we were to take it down to zero, it would be the best that it could be. Um, but I think 2.5 is good. You don't. Uh, if you take it down to zero, you'll probably get a little bit better effect, and you'll. It'll take quite a. It'll take more time to render. Anyhow, um, now that we got the world set up, let's uh, go to the material on my little title here, uh, and you can use whatever color you want. I'm. I, I'm kind of. Uh, orange fan, so I'm going to take mine to orange, just kind of a darkish orange. Uh, turn the intensity up all the way. And to make sure that, uh, to get this thing recognized, like I was saying, um, by the lighting, we'll bump the humidity up to 10. And this is uh, the result of that. So let's do a little sample render. Okay, as you can see, uh, we got the color on there with the with the material, but that is not the effect we're going for. What we need to complete this whole thing is a uh, floor, because if you think about it, you know where's the shadow and the, the light going to be if you're just like if there's nothing under you. So um, let's hit Shift A, Mesh Plane. Now this plane will act as our floor. We'll scale that up to about oh, 10 is not enough. We'll just, how about this, I'll just scale it like so. Okay, and then let's bring that up. It has to be very, it, it needs to be close to your mesh, uh, your character here, so that way uh, you'll get the uh, illusion that we're wanting. Okay, and there it is. So as I was saying, like the, the floor acts as a, um, as a barrier, so the light will reflect off that, so be sure to put something under there so you know the whole effect is relevant. Um, so that is how you make a cool little title um, lighting or any kind of lighting you want with any object. Um, I thought this was pretty cool and I hope this, all, this will help you all. Um, so thank you.